What's happening people? Welcome to another video with all sorts. A few people commented that they want to see this video. So in this video today, we are doing the Apple Watch Series 6 versus the Vivo Fly 4 Series 6 clone smartwatch. But if you want to see any other comparisons between the original and any other Series 6 clone, do let me know in the comment section below. As always, make sure you follow me on one of these social medias as I always put up sneak peeks on what to expect and all sorts. And as always, make sure you subscribe and also hit the bell notification so when I upload any video you'll actually be notified so if you want to see the full unboxing and review of both of these items check out my previous video I will leave both of these in the link in the description box below or you can check out my playlist uh, I'm not going to go into depth into the unboxing we're just going to take a quick look at the boxes and a look at the smartwatch uh, both of the smartwatches uh, themselves to show you what they both like of course the operating system is not going to be the same but i'll show you what they like but as you can see here this is the apple watch series 6 and it has pull tabs um, right there and this is the box so it hasn't got the same box there is a few clone uh, smartwatches that have the same box like that but this one has two boxes inside which is the one is the band and one is the smartwatch itself so if we take a look at this open this up and as you can see you've got the smartwatch inside right there so opening up the vivo fly 4 and as you can see here it's a little bit different you've got the smartwatch there and the smartwatch is supposed to be in there but it's on charge but i'll show you well they're both on charge uh, but i'll show you the smartwatches later in the video this is just a little unboxing to show you what's inside um you have the manuals right here with this one we have the manuals over here and you've got one watch band and they both have magnetic chargers which i'll show you later in the video so they're both identical in that way so that is the box now what we'll do we'll go straight in to see what the smart watches are like right here is what the magnetic chargers look like this is the original as you can see it has a, a bit a deeper groove but uh, this fake one is a little bit different you put it out a ring right there with a the little groove this is just a fully uh, dented one uh, they're both magnetic as you can tell right here both usb uh, the, of course the vivo fly 4 feels much cheaper it's got a thicker wire and uh, this one obviously of course feels premium as it's the uh, original apple charger now if you're thinking does the vivo fly 4 charger uh, well watch work on the original no it doesn't vice versa i've checked them both out uh, they don't charge as you can see with the original you've got a few trademarks just right here I don't know if you can see on camera you've got nothing on the uh, vivo fly 4 so yeah like i was saying the vivo fly 4 watch does not work on the original and the original does not work on the vivo fly 4 charger so just wanted to clarify that because a few people have stated okay on my left we have the original series 6 uh, apple smartwatch on my right we have the vivo fly 4 series 6 clone smartwatch so let's take a look at the front so the display they both have 1.78 inch display 44 millimeter in size uh, the apple watch has an s6 uh, chipset and the vivo fly 4 has mt uh, mtk 2502 chipset uh, they both can uh, have wireless charging as you can see right here the apple watch does state it's a 303 mah battery uh, the vivo fly 4 advertises it has a 330 mah battery which is much bigger the only way we're going to uh, realize that if we open this up so if you want to see a teardown of this vivo fly 4 let me know in the comment section below uh, there's no point in testing the features on both of these because of course the vivo fly 4 is a cheaper version but i'll just show you the uh, the body wise and also a quick look at the operating system on both of these to show you uh, how uh, duplicate they are when it comes to the vivo fly 4 series 6 clone compared to the original of course the original is much better if a lot of people do comment below i hope this answers your question which one uh, to buy out of both of these always stick with the original because you're going to get more for your money uh, of course with the if you did see the unboxing and review i am going to tell you with the vivo fly 4 or any other series 6 clones the health apps don't work accurate of course they work accurate on the original because that's what you're actually paying for you're paying for the uh, uh, software as well as the apple branding as well so you get what you pay for when it comes to money of course i'm not going to talk uh, price wise because the, the vivo fly 4 is much cheaper than the original 
original you can purchase uh, the Vivo Fly 4 from AliExpress or Alibaba and just check out the price there you know what the price is on the original so let's take a look at the body coming to the side as you can see here uh, we have exactly the same a mic cut out in the middle on and off button at the bottom and a crown at the top the Vivo Fly 4 has a red ring around it doesn't have a red ring on the original um, as this is just a uh, GPS it's not a cellular as well taking a look at the back it looks similar but not the same you've got the sensors um, on the uh, different um, layout on the original compared to the fake and you've also got text around uh, the sensors as you do with the original as well uh, you also you don't have cut um, buttons at the top and the bottom on the vivo fly 4 uh, to take out the watch bands you do on the original with the vivo fly 4 you just slide them in and out so we'll check out the bands later to see if they fit on either of the watches Taking a look at the speaker grills, the top one is the original Apple Watch, the bottom one is the Vivo Fly 4. They both actually work because some of the clones you only get one speaker grill, uh, the other one is fake, but we have uh, both of them on both of the smartwatches. Uh, but just the Vivo Fly 4 is a little bit bigger, as you can see right there. So that is the watch band where you place them in. And uh, yeah, overall, if you take a look at it, they both look pretty identical. Uh, coming to the body wise, I would say the Vivo Fly 4 it just feels a little a bit more chunkier than the original and that's about it the body wise is a little bit bigger but the screen size i've been told is 1.78 inch display on the vivo fly 4 so we'll uh, switch these on just after we check the watch band so what we'll do now is we'll see if the vivo fly 4 watch bands fit on the original and vice versa right here we have the watch bands the color is a little bit off but i don't know because i've been using the original one it's probably been wearing out uh, taking a look at uh, the watch bands right here you just got a little bit of a different text it says 42 millimeters on the vivo fly 4 and on the original it actually states it's a 44 millimeter right there taking a look at the big one it just says another 40, 42 millimeter on there and on the original it says a small stroke medium so what we'll do now as this is the original watch band let's see if it actually fits on the vivo fly 4 yes it does just slide straight in and as you can see here the vivo fly 4 has now the original watch band let's bring the uh, fake well the uh, vivo fly 4 watch band onto the original and as you can see they don't click in but they do fit on but it's a bit loose i'm not gonna lie this one is actually a bit more tighter, but they do fit on, as you can see right here. I've accidentally, let's just switch these both on as well. So now the Vivo Fly 4 watch band is on the original and the original watch band is on the Vivo Fly 4, as you can see right here. Now with the original, of course, it, it has the Apple logo. With the Vivo Fly 4, it's just a world um, uh, animation and you just get straight into the watch face. The original takes a little bit of time because there's more software to boot up. Uh, but yeah, let these boot up and then we'll see a little bit of a comparison between the both right so here we have it people here is the watch watch faces on both of these as you can see right here looks pretty much identical so as you know with the going into the original when you click the calendar or any other um shortcut app on the watch face it works coming to the vivo fly 4 it actually works as well you have the swipe back button you've got the everything actually works on the watch face which is really good swiping it down it brings the show codes but if you swipe it down on the original sorry there's a passcode on it if you swipe it down on the original just gives you notifications but you have to swipe it up uh, for your uh, show codes right here pretty much similar well not not similar in the design way should i say uh, if you want notifications you've got to swipe up as you can see right there so trying to do them both is quite kind of hard so yeah as you can see it's just a little bit different but the layout is the same to try to mimic it as much as possible as you can see right here do you um you've got you've only got one page of shortcuts but with the original you can have how much shortcuts you want we can uh, edit it as which one you want as well so pushing the crown in goes back and pushing the crown in as well goes back which is really really good so pushing the crown in again goes to your 
uh, list view pushing in on the original same again goes to the list view does the crown work on the vivo fly 4 yes it does as you can see you can scroll all the way down same again with the original it's much smoother you get a little bit of a tactic vibration when it uh, swipe um, using the crown uh, through the apps as well which feels really nice you don't get that on the original but at least the crown works that's really really good the uh, thing that you can get on the vivo fly 4 is a hand massager which you press and it just vibrates of course you don't get that on the original there's no point showing you the features that the original has you can check that on the unboxing and review on the original one but i just wanted to show you what the operating system is like on both of these uh, you can actually change the uh, both of the, the watch uh, the menus to smart watches so if you go down as you can see here pressing it and uh, it has the same as the original the of course the original has the same because that's where it actually originated from so yeah they have actually mimicked quite a lot of the apps when it comes to this vivo fly 4 i have done the previous one the vivo fly 2 3 and this is the 4 this is the latest one at the vivo selection and i've got to say they have done a really good job it comes with a lot of watch faces same again with this or uh, original you can change watch faces right here just by holding them in it feels much better you can edit it as well uh, to where the time goes and everything you can put customize one on here i'm pretty sure you can do it the same on this one as well you just got to go into the app to customize it you can't do it uh, via the watch itself so overall it's uh, as you can see here it's really really good it's got loads of apps i'm trying to get the same one back where is it gone or you can actually use the uh, crown as you can see right there got loads of apps on here to be honest I'm not gonna lie I keep saying that I know I do people actually comment but yeah overall it's decent it's got a lot of uh, apps as you can see on the vivo fly 4 just I'll just go through the list view for you that's the list view of the vivo fly 4 now here's the list view of the original just want to show you what they both are like so let's just go to the top of course with the original you can put apps on it as well so you've got Alibaba on there app store blood oxygen Domino's as well if you want to order a pizza memoji which you can <laughs> edit yourself which is really really good you got your messenger on there as well so yeah that just goes to show what kind of apps you can get on the original uh, compared to the vivo fly 4 so that is a little comparison of both of these watches what do you think did vivo actually do good by uh, copying the original uh, when it comes to the body wise and also the operating system of course the original is much faster than the vivo fly 4 but they have mimicked it as uh, best they can do to be honest and uh, yeah what do you think let me know in the comment section below if you want to see any other videos with this vivo fly 4 do let me know like a tear down to see what's inside uh, i don't mind actually doing that but yeah that was the vivo fly 4 versus the original apple watch series 6 um if you want to see any other comparisons do let me know in the comment section below thanks again for watching and i'll see you again for another video